What's up guys, welcome back to a new episode about classes, properties and methods in PHP. A class can be seen as a template or blueprint from which a lot of individual objects can be created. Whenever we create an object, the object will inherit the same properties and behaviors that we create. I don't like to talk a lot without showing code to you, so let's start off by creating a blueprint. Let me add a comment which says define a class. Right below our comment, let's write down the keyword class, followed by a space, and followed by the class name. And be aware that the class name needs to be with a capital, so let's create a class called user, space, opening and closing curly braces. We don't need parentheses after the class name, because we don't need to return a value or parameters inside our class. Now inside our class, let's create properties. So let me add a comment and let's say properties. A property is pretty much the same as a variable. So the user can have a first name, last name, age, and so on. We could also create methods inside our class. And the behavior of a method is pretty similar to a normal function, except they are special inside a class. So whenever we create a website, every user can log in or register. So we need to create a login method, a register method, a forget password method, and so on. Now let's go back up and let's create a property. And in order to define a property, we need to add an access modifier. And don't worry about the term. I will create a single episode about access modifiers. For now, let's write down public space, followed by the variable name. So let's say dollar sign name. And let's close it off with a semicolon. We could also declare our property by going right after the variable name. Let's set it equal to my real name, so Dari. And what we could do right now is to go outside of our class, so after the closing curly braces. And we can, well, let me add a comment, instantiate user object from the user class. What we need to do to create an instantiate of our object is to create a new variable. So let's say variable user. And we need to set it equal to a keyword new space followed by the class name. So let's say user followed by a set of parentheses and a semicolon. Right now, we will not have any output because we have only declared our object. So let me save it and refresh the browser. Let me make it bigger. All right. Well, I'm refreshing it now, but we're not seeing anything because we're not doing anything. What we need to do is to access the properties of our class user. So let's go one line below and let's say echo variable user. And what we need to do right now is to use the object operator, which is written down with a dash and a greater than sign. So we're basically saying, well, let's go inside user and let's search for, well, let's say the property name. So let's save it, let's refresh the browser and the output is, well, my name. Whatever is on the right-hand side of the operator is a member of the object instantiated into the variable on the left-hand side. So we have variable user, which is an object of the class user, so everything right here. And what we're saying is enter variable user, so go inside of the class and search for variable name. And while well, we actually declared it, so if we make a typo, save it and refresh the browser, you can see that we have an undefined property because name doesn't exist right now. Let me undo my typo. What we basically did right here could also be done with methods. So let's go right below our method comment and let's write down public function. And you can see that it's created the same way as creating a function, but we have an access modifier right now. And let's create a function called say hello. Our function has a body. And what we want to do is to return a string called hello. We don't want to echo it out because we want to echo it out right here. So let's go right below our echo. Let's create a new one, echo variable user, pointer, and we want to echo out, say hello. 
and be aware that it's a function so we need to use parentheses so save it refresh the browser and you can see that whatever we added inside our function is printed on the screen right now well let's also add a break in between so let's say echo break save it refresh it and this looks good as you can see we created two lines of code with our object well, we echoed out our name and we echoed out our function and whenever using object oriented programming you want to spare yourself text because you don't want to repeat yourself so what we could do is to access properties inside our method so right after return and let's write down the keyword dollar sign this pointer followed by the property name so let's say name space and let's concatenate it and what we're doing with the keyword this is well saying inside our class look for name so this is referring to our property name and let's comment out our first echo save it refresh the browser and you can see that the output is well exactly the same well we can add a space here refresh the browser and well we can even say Dari says hello and this works as well and the last thing that I want to show you right now is to set the property value equal to null so let's remove well my name after the property let's save it refresh the browser and you can see that well no one says hello right now because the value of name is empty so nothing will be printed out but since our property has an access modifier of public we can go outside of our class because a public access modifier can be accessible from anywhere inside your code so what we could do is to go right below our object and let's say dollar sign user pointer and we want to set the name equal to Dari. So let's save it, let's refresh the browser, and you can see that my name is printed out on the screen. This was it for this episode about classes, properties, and methods, and in the next episode, I want to talk about access modifiers. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.